How's it going, hot stuff? Long duck, long duck dong, 16 candles. Well, I was um, watching this video. I was um, it's, he's active duty, now he's an officer. So by some of his basic training stories. Hold this up. Keep some in my mouth. Yeah. And kind of brought to mind some of my basic training stories. <laughs> getting getting in trouble <laughs> oh man yes we have this thing called fire guard and um, I took the title as a definition fire guard Supposed to watch out for fires he said this desk dude it's our shifts but one day one night it was um we did it with two people it was my turn and Private Mo, he's a short guy from, um, I guess he was Hispanic, I don't know, from Washington State, and that's, that's the one that Drill Sergeant would um, make him sing the Lumberjack song, I'm a Lumberjack, that's okay, you know, but doing our fire guard thing, and um, my um, battle buddy, because you sign a battle buddy, you know, supposed to stay together whatnot well he is going home for some personal time some personal emergency something and so he was packing stuff up that's going to send him back to the house and um I have a that's the time we take time to write your letters too and I was looking up good lights was off in the hallway except where we was at I looked up I see him come out of his room go to the bathroom back I'm like me and Mo was talking, and Mo said, um, asked me, who's that? I'm like, I'm the boogeyman. I'm writing my letter, I look up, I see this ugly face. Ugly, just like, ugly face of this drill sergeant from another platoon. <laughs> this dude looked old, but he was, I think he probably was like in his early 30s, but he, he, he just had that weathered look on his face. <laughs> he's had some hard years in the army. But he's like, grab my face. Just like, with no glasses on, you know. Boogeyman, huh? Me and Mo had gone, beside the desk of his room, a platoon room one night, to do some of our exercises, because it was winter time. We do exercise outside too, but it, it just, we just did a lot of exercises because the goal is pass your APFT at the end. So that's everything else. Everything else you're going to pass. It'd be drilled into you. You're going to pass. But, um, he said, the punch is, and I said, you know what? And I'm like, they didn't say, oh, you're supposed to check to see anything weird. You know, I need my, my battle buddy just went to the bathroom back. It wasn't crossing the red line where the where the females was at. And it was in, in the beginning weeks, so it was not looking good yet. <laughs> they say that in the army, the women are mighty fine. They look like Phyllis Diller and walk like Frankenstein. <laughs> so, I still don't know why I got smoked. But anyways, we had to... Do the the motorcycle? They ride the Harley. Basically, you're riding an invisible bike. There's nothing there. You're holding yourself up in the sitting position, and you've got your arms up. You know, and then you got some other things. And the next day, in mess hall, uh, that one crazy ranger drill sergeant. <laughs> he was like boogeyman, huh? And there on that day, I was me and this, I guess he was catching up on people heading smoked in a while it was in in the bay platoon bay doing hello dollies and um i forgot what this one exercise called this is your legs your, your butt you're sitting down you're like this like that like this like this, this that 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 it was <laughs> i was lucky i actually was coordinated that day but um 
Yeah, that was that was something. I know I got in trouble again. And I'm trying to remember. I had two stories. Ah. Fast forward it. That gotta be another one. The one time I was, you know, getting close to the end, you know, I started, I was, I was counseling around when I would be dreaming, I'd be dreaming about basic training, about what we're going to do the next day. And, um, yeah, there's a, there's that second half because we switched. Because at first, the first half of the night was men and then women. The last person on the males fire watch <clears throat> we get the drill sergeant and he would wake up the females well vice versa sergeant lot <laughs> wakes me up shine the red flashlight in my face hey fire guard i'm like okay i'm thinking i'm still dreaming okay i just remembered this other thing okay i guess i got three stories <laughs> still dreaming i wasn't really awake i thought i was dreaming and then later i got woke up you're late for fire guard and la 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 they get in the trouble for that just Sergeant Lodge gave me a look, shook his head. I'm like, I thought I was dreaming, man. Because this happened, I think, either before or after. And this would happen basically train drill sergeants from other platoons would come and screw around with you. Um, we had like, was it two, four, six, eight, eight men bays, but we didn't have eight men there because it was our winter time. There was, le there was less of us and more drill sergeants. So they, there's one drill sergeant, I forgot his name. He looked kind of similar to the one that looked very old. He was red-headed too. But he turns on the lights and like, you know, when, when drill sergeant stands inside the room, he got to yell, stand, yell, room attention. You know, I'm just sitting up on the top bunk. I'm sitting up top, just looking. I thought I'm dreaming. <laughs> And he's like, Jan wasn't out there. Probably, what are you doing? I'm just, <laughs> I'm, I'm in the dream. I'm, I'm, I'm dreaming. <laughs> Probably <for> you. <laughs> I'm just still looking, <laughs> like a cow looking at a new gate. And <laughs> if I realize, I'm not dreaming. <laughs> Dump off the top bunk, stay attention. It turns lights off. It walks out. That's, that's one thing you do. If you go screw up scoop in the way that he'll make the drill sergeant laugh and um, they won't smoke you. Well, that's likely they're smoking you. They will. They, just, they can't show emotion. They got to walk away. Ah, oh, man. Yeah, another one pop up and I forgot it too. I'm tired. Checking this place here. During my um, orders. I got a window. They said my appointment time was another time, so I might be a little while waiting, but there's a lot of docks open, so I don't know. Um, I'm trying to think again, okay. Okay, the, um, the Battle Buddy and the Boogeyman. I, the, yeah, I did, I did tell you three of them, okay. <laughs> you know, because <laughs> sleep is an important thing in basic training very valuable when I got my um, between basic and AIT because AIT was at the same base Fort Leonard Wood, Missouri so I, we didn't get home other people if you're you know, AIT a different base you get a chance you can probably you can go home for a week and that's when they some people get kicked out and come back because they Smoke the herb, and you're gonna get, you're gonna have a p, you're gonna, you're gonna have a urinalysis when you come back. Just remember, urinalysis. Okay, you go, go home for leave, come back, you're gonna have a urinalysis. Active duty, you're gonna have a urinalysis when you come back. Just remember that, and they will catch you. <laughs> they know the tricks. They even got a person that we nicknamed the Meat Gazer. When you're out there in the bathroom, they hand you the cup. And someone's going to be staring at your junk. 
I, I always was kind of shy because you know be um, be a, a black sergeant and I'm like you know <laughs> like <laughs> Duffy shot like but this is very embarrassing a little winky just trying to go inside <laughs> pull that thing out you know because there's there's showers and there's growers and I'm a farmer so it, it'd be it, it's a grower but there's no this, you know, oh, you drop a hair in your cup. They're going by procedure. There's someone staring at your junk. <clears throat> they just say nothing gay about it, just is what it is. If you have an issue with it, that's when the don't tell. Oh, you might, people are going to be wondering, hmm. But, or if you don't have an issue with it, you know, just say that, that, in the middle, kind of nervous, you know, we joke around a little bit, <laughs> but yeah, I've, he was story when I was in AIT, I mean, I went to my um, unit in Hawaii, you know, because I got friends from other MOSs, whatnot, because everyone, I mean, it's, it's a, it's a different world, you know, you definitely really experience brotherhood, yes, we give each other shit for our MOSs, you know, Pogues, person other than grunt, you know. You can't spell chump without an MP. You can't take a dump without a grunt, you know. Those are babysitters <laughs> for transportation. But fun times. <laughs> getting smoked. You know. I mean, it's like it's getting smoked's not bad. They can only push you so far until you just body quits moving <laughs> you know I can't smoke a quitter <laughs> people just joke around though. can't smoke a rock <laughs> you can't smoke a quitter <laughs> you don't say don't can't smoke a quitter in basic training no I didn't test that out certain things you know I don't test everything out <laughs> my balls wasn't that big <laughs> I was trying not to get fired. And like anybody can make an army. If I can't make it, I'm a real freaking loser. <laughs> but yeah, you can't get fired. Even even in active duty, you can't really get fired. You just get more work to do. <laughs> Learn how to be a painter, <laughs> a lawn care specialist. <laughs> you do some policing, but except you're not a cop, you're that's military term for cleaning up garbage. The, the hands across the desert over an NTC. You know, hand in hand, go across the train area and pick up anything that's not sand and rocks. But yeah, some of my stories funny stories from basic training I know they're really funny just memories to me I remember one time we was getting kind of smoked because one private had run around run around the building boom fall in because there's some tension hands you know side stiff there's one dude it wasn't Mariani oh yeah I got that remind, remind me of a story bye 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 bye, bye reminded me of a story um, yeah yep 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 but let me go with the one I'm on now but one private would have his hand slide to the back like like he was stuck between attention and a parade parade rest parade rest your know, hands are like this behind you you know and your feet you know short short length apart at a 90 degree angle. You'd have the, the feet right, the hand just does not quite right. And drill sergeant wouldn't tell, tell us what was wrong. What? That bunch of work, everything is run again, re fall in again, again. One person got had an asthma attack because of it. So he can't so he had to he got sent home. But maybe not. 
didn't see him. Might have just been an allergy or something. I don't know. But the person almost like act like he had an attack, asthma attack, which I used to have asthma. Gross went with MIPS. No, nope, nope, no asthma, no nothing. That's why I didn't chose to be an MP because I figured they might dig a little deeper, which they wouldn't. So I'd be a truck driver. I can always reclass after I commit. I finish my um, contract. But Siciliani on zero day. It was it was downstairs at these little bigger squad base or platoon base, and they have you know dump yourself out there, two exercises over it, whatnot. There's one crazy Ranger Jail Sergeant. Now he walked on top of my tapes. I don't know. Let's say, dude, don't bring nothing. Bring the clothes that you're wearing. That's it. You will get what you need to get when you get there. I mean, this big old 60s style suitcase. Because I, I know I was going to be there for that and a tea, whatnot. I wanted this, my music when I got the privilege returned. When you. Hey, I had Pantera, White Zombie, stuff like that. And he walked on top of my tapes. Because he could. He's a motherfucking ranger. He can do what the fuck he wants. <laughs> He's like, pick one of the tapes up. And the devil music, huh? I'm like, no, it's just rock and roll. Later on, we're not firing two weeks. He was playing his music. It was on the weekend or Sunday. And he ended up smoking some soldiers because of it. He's not supposed to have military bearing. He's like playing um, White Zombie and whatnot. And I'm, I'm like, oh, I'm like, mm -hmm. I'm like, I like this dude. Okay, I'm okay. And the and some of the soldiers that happen to be, you know, black, it was all like, you know, kind of bebopping to it. Cause that's the only music we was we heard in like I don't, I don't know five weeks. He steps out, seeing them doing like that, not acting military, and ends up, you know, I can do some push-ups. Not that many. I think they'd maybe do five or something and say, you know, it's supposed to be military bearing no matter what, you know. Because at the end, they kind of loosen up a little bit, you know. Not loosen up slacking, slack a little bit, depending on how you've been doing. But, yeah, Siciliani. We was, um, he took my tape, but not the music now, rock and roll. And he was standing there, he was like, rah, rah, you know. There's one guy, one soldier, he looked like a typical skinhead. Which I'm thinking, we thought, we all look like skinheads, no matter what our skin color was. <laughs> but this dude had, just had this skull shape. And he wasn't racist at all. But all the black soldiers was around him, just like, this is the worst nightmare. <laughs> well, we was do front by ghost too. And um, Sissiani, we call him Sissiani. Siciliani, he's, he's, um, that wasn't Greek, Italian, yeah, knee knocker, because you see everybody's naked, you know, you don't like it, stare like, I got your knee knocker, knee knocker, you think so long, it, it's hitting your knees, you know, because Italians are part black, way back when, way back when the Moors invasion, but, um, he said, oh no, I broke my arm. And just I said, stand up. And the arm, he said he broke it. He was like, woo, what? I was saying, it was just more stuff flying the corner. Like, you look straight. He's like, straight attention. He's just like, I'm thinking, holy shit. <laughs> I'm like, what an idiot. <laughs> but, oh yeah, that day, I just found a person in front of me because I didn't know where my barracks room was at. It was actually on the second floor. I went to the third floor and put my stuff in the room. And am I getting to, okay, let's follow everybody. Okay, boom. And I'm realizing the people's names. If it was in alphabetical order, you know, that determined which platoon he's going to be in. Or, yeah, it was platoons. I noticed the alphabet started after my name. I'm thinking, I probably need to ask the question. Okay. Like, I 
think I'm in the wrong room. I think I'm in the wrong platoon. What's your last, what's your name? Kelly. George. Kelly George. <laughs> yeah, it's his last name, first name. And this drill sergeant was real, he's real nice, you know. Looks like an older white fellow, glasses, nice. But he was smoking just like the rest, so he just do it without yelling. They said, get going down to the second floor. Went down there and I'm just so nervous. Things, a female, we had a female drill sergeant. She was hot. Part African American, part Native American. That's what she said. She was fine, but she could probably kick my motherfucking ass. <laughs> but she was motherly. I can't. Yeah, but she was kind of military motherly. She really cared. Really, really, really cared. Yeah. After we got class A's, but not. She brought in her special um, polish. And has polished her class A's. That's back for everyone got issued those um, Windex shoes. Windex shoes, yeah. Got the shiny stuff on, you just hit the Windex and clean them up. But these ones actually had to spit shine. And she took, she took them all home to have a special sealant she put on them. She put them in the oven, sealant, whatnot. And, um, I was actually was at tears in my eyes when I was at the end of basic training. And I had to, you know, get on the cow car and head over to the other part base for my AIT. Cattle car, that's what we called them. Wooden trailers, and you haul it and you stuffed in there, stuffed in there, st st stuffed in there like cattle. But I really had a affection, affinity for all my drill sergeants. My Kellamaw cadence I learned from, you know, a Ranger drill sergeant, There's Lot Lavelle, Gordon. Um, I just know that ranger's name. Um, well, I can't remember. I'm gonna go home and look at my basic training album if, still, if I even still have it. Um, not Lot, not Warden, not Lavelle. Um, He was the only white one <laughs> we had. The other one was black. Yeah. Um, remember their names? Uh, it could be there's it has the same name of a certain street that sometimes I hear. But um, definitely, you get a fondness for your drill sergeants. You see the chains they brought. The, not the chains. Chink, chink. The chains, chains, just like chains, the changes that they brought you through. And you really appreciate the patience that they go through. And then one female drill sergeant just said, it's after a while, you know, constant rotation, rotation. Soft, slobby civilians, okay, soldiers, here you come back, here we start over again. Another group of slobby civilians, soldiers. Yeah. And she was real frank in a lot of stuff. She didn't mince words. <laughs> she actually cussed more <laughs> than the drill sergeants. At, around you, not at you. There's a difference. Military, there's a lot of cussing around. I'm black in oil field. But, yeah, definitely some good memories. You laugh about after basic training. <laughs> when you're going through it, it's you're like, oh, you know, it's, it's the stress, whatnot. I mean, good stress. Exercise, exercise your mind and body. Mind, mind, mind and body. You need to enunciate what I'm saying, not double, double, double. Anyways, oh, that is it for now.